Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm here to show you what I came up with for that um, challenge I was telling you about for Rosa Kelly. Um, she's doing a challenge where you make one journal page, you know, like all four sides kind of thing, to go in a large journal that she's putting together, you know, with all of her subscribers, whoever wants to um, make a page for it. So <clears throat> this is the page that I made, and I used my new um, mushrooms and butterflies digital kit plus um, there's some pieces from my other kits and just some images that I found. I found this cool mushroom and stuff. So anyway, um, I made a page that has two pockets. It was two pieces of coffee dyed paper that I folded in half, you know, to make um, a page in a signature so she can sew it down here to go in her signature. Um, so there's a pocket at the top here, and I showed you guys the other day what it looked like with nothing on it, the coffee dyed paper with just the window in it and then um, nothing else on it. So this, I did a large journaling card, and I put the fabric up at the top like I've been stuck on doing. <laughs> I just think it looks cool. And then um, that on the front, this is a piece of 1920 like um, embroidery magazine so it's all kind of rough and falling apart and there's some washi down there butterfly some cheesecloth just a little bit of collaging with you know different paper on there and I did put my name on it and then this is a little journaling spot right there I don't know if my light's not really great is it sorry so this is napkin um, on here and then just a little bird and a mushroom. There's some fabric back here. There's a piece of the napkin up here. This is the paper from my new digi kit. And then there's a pocket. This is one of the tags for my digi, but I cut the top off and sewed fabric on the top. And then on the back, there's room to journal. Yep, I gotta fix that. And then there's one of my uh, journaling tab cards that comes in the kit. And I just added paper on the back and stitched around it. So there's no dimension on that. That's all the way that card comes. And then one of the pockets from my kit. And I just squished some paper down there and stamped Exhibit A on it. And this is all my collage paper from that Mushroom and Butterfly kit on the back there. And then this pulls out and there's another large journaling card. So lots of room to write in this, even though there's not tons. I mean, you can write here, you can write here. Even though I put stuff on the pages to decorate them, there's still quite a bit of journaling space in this. And that just goes right back in there. And this will hang out the side of her journal, and then the one at the top will hang out the top. And that's the last part. And this is a collage from my digi kit, and I just added this large tag. Um, or label or whatever and some washi so yeah and that washi is a little bit more like fabric it's like a fabric washi and um, had it for a while it's actually my daughter's and she never used it so I kind of stole it from her <laughs> so that's that and then I thought today what we could work on is I had an idea and I don't know how it's gonna work because I didn't try it or anything but um, I am going to play with one of these, and lots of people have done this. This is nothing new, and I know that um, both Gail Augustinelli and Rachel at Roxy Creations have been using these um, like business envelopes and cutting them open entirely and like collaging on them, so that's kind of what I've got in mind here. And it doesn't, I'm, you can see I'm doing a horrible job of this, but um, you don't have to make it perfect because I'm going to cover the whole outside of it. So I just really need to get it opened is all I'm trying to do. I don't know why it's so hard to do envelopes and make them right, but anyway. Probably easier just to cut a little slit down the side and do it that way. Then you can just clean up the little bits just so they're not hanging off later. And then I was just going to do the front, but I think I'm going to open it all the way just so that I can, so it's nice and flat, because there were some pieces, like this whole chunk got torn out, but that's okay, because I'm going to just cover it up. So I got out some stuff for kind of a shabby, how I was feeling the, the shabby thing today, so I just grabbed out 
all kinds of random pieces of fabric and lace and just whatever. So I thought we could play with that. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Sunday. It's pretty nice here. It is warming up again. Not horribly, but it is warming up. I want to figure out how wide I need that. I thought it might be kind of fun if like some of the torn edge comes over the side of the envelope or the window right here just to give it some more interest. So that's kind of what I was thinking about with that. Figure out. See I like this like kind of coming over like that. I want this to fray a little more. And I'm just going to glue pieces down, kind of patchwork style. I'm not, um, you know, same as what you do with paper, but instead with fabric. And I know Rachel recently just did a, like a card thing or a pocket booklet type thing that was covered in fabric. And she covered it like an entire piece of a white kind of a fabric. And so that's sort of where I was, I've been wanting to play with some fabric on stuff and I thought this would be a good, good way to do it. I'm going to kind of lay it out before I start gluing. I love this old hanky. It's so, the fabric is so soft. Let's see here, I think I want it across the top. I might have to put a piece of something behind here just to stabilize that a little bit because it is ripped. I'm trying to think of what to put back there. This, work. this is kind of a thick piece that came out of a book and I think I'm just going to glue it and then I'll trim it. I'll use my fabric or my wet glue. So yeah, everybody messes with these <laughs> business envelopes because we all get them in the mail endlessly. I don't know if that'll work better. I just don't want it to be so flimsy that um, you know it's a problem for the fabric on there. outside watering and stuff but instead I'm in here playing <laughs> like we do okay I think that'll help hold it together a little bit better that one there and then I think I do want a piece of this. The only thing that I'm concerned about is that MetLife. You can really see it. So I think I should use something darker like this trim might be a good idea because it, um, the only thing is it's not going to have the frayed edge. And I did put a piece of this trim in my Antique Posy. I think it's the add-on kit. So if you want a piece of that, go over to my Etsy shop and just check out um, antique posy and the antique posy add-on kits and it's in one of those I don't know why I can't remember which one I think it's the add-on but I'm not positive about that it's hard to remember you know when you make those kits because you're using all the stuff together and so um, it's just hard to remember which kit you end up putting it in because I made both of those roughly at the, at the same time so I don't want all this bulk underneath that piece of fabric right there, so I'm going to cut that off right there. It'll be something like that. And then, do I want, I could use some of these littler ones. I don't know, I really like this though. I'm going to use a piece of this. See, I think I'm going to have to lose that little piece right there. There's a fold right there too, which is kind of annoying. So 
So I'll just get rid of that. I'll use it for something else. You can tell this one got washed lots because it's super soft and it just like tears apart. Now this one I think I'm only going to have it go to the trim instead of higher. Maybe it'll go a little higher just to cover everything. But so it'll be more like this. And then across the bottom it might be kind of fun to do the lace hanging down. So let's see. This is a knit, so it's not going to tear as well as the other. And then I'm going to stitch all around too, so. That one is a little bit longer. This one's even shorter. I could do this instead. This fabric is just kind of cream colored, but it's got dots on it. You just can't hardly see them, especially on camera, I'm sure, but it, they're there. So maybe I'll do a strip of this and then I'll put lace on it. It needs to be about like that. And that one tears the really easy. You can tell that's old. Or just well worn anyway. are like from old pillowcases and just whatever hankies all that kind of thing that get lots of use but they work great for you know junk journaling because the texture is great the only thing is you can see that that you can't see it through that as well I guess I can put a piece of lace there. Everybody's home today, so you could hear anybody at any time. Since it is Sunday. Alright, so we're going to just start gluing those down. And then I, like I said, I am going to stitch them, so I should probably put my book page under here so that I can go over the edge and not worry about it. And I'm just going to use this glue because like I said I'm going to do some stitching so I'm not that worried about you know that it's fabric. I just really don't like Fabri-Tac. I know I say that all the time but I don't. Lift that up a little bit. I think the stitching will look good around there. That was good. I'm trying not to get glue on the window, which sometimes is easier said than done, I know. Because that'll just, just won't look as good. And if it hangs off in places, I'm fine with that, because see, this is kind of hanging over, but I don't care. So I'm going to have overlap right there, and it's hanging down a little bit too. And I think I'll do it like that. So I know this isn't anything new, but you know, if you're new to junk journaling, you may not have seen this. So this is just, you saw it was just a MetLife um, envelope, what was left of it, because the other side got all ripped when it got opened. So I'm just... Yeah, you can really see that. So I will be putting a piece of lace there. Um, just covering it up so it can be used as a pocket in a junk journal. So, And I cut it open so I can stitch it. If you're not going to stitch it, then you don't really have to cut it all the way open. You could leave it closed up. One side was already open, though, because I cut it. I feel like this side needs to go up here because it's a little 
fatter at the top, so I think it'll cover this up better. Because I did get a little bit close there. do a little something up there in the corner too. It's sticky so I don't want it there. Okay, let's see. We could put, I don't know which lace I want to use. I have this pink. I kind of like the idea of it hanging down, you know, lower than, that way when it's a pocket in a journal, that lace will hang down like that. could take this off of here. Even this out a little bit. I don't mind that it's going out a little, but that was kind of excessive. Yeah, something like that I like. I get. All right, let's see. I've got some little roses, but thinking. I think these might be too big. Or maybe not. Samantha gave me these. Thank you, Samantha. I have to iron this one. <laughs> yeah, that, that actually looks pretty cute. So I think something like that will work. Um, I, you know what? I'm going to wait to put this on until I stitch because I want to stitch this. So I'm going to work on the card that we'll put inside and then I'll do stitching and come back and show you guys what it looks like. So I cut a card that will slip down inside of there to the right size. I'm not loving the color of this like manila-y stuff so I want to cover that up. So I'm going to use just like old scrappy paper. I love these, this paper because this is the color of it. This is the actual color. So I think I'm just going to kind of glue it on there. And a lot of it's going to get covered up by this. But uh, maybe I'll just do part of it. And do the top. I think I'll have better luck gluing the card than that paper. It's too fragile. Oh, this is cute too, but I don't think you're going to see any of it. So, I'm just going to kind of plunk it on here because I'm going to try to pinch it just a little bit because it's that really thin, like breakable mm, it doesn't want to do it again <laughs> that um, glue dries faster than the liquid glue but that's okay that's good at least it's a little there's a little more interest up there oops I just I was not smart I was thinking oh I'll just rub it really good and it'll come off but I totally ripped the paper I'll tear there. I can put something over that. Oh yeah, I was going to put something over that anyway. So no big deal. Forgot. I kind of had a plan today. A little bit anyways, planned as I get basically. have any stories to tell today. It's kind of been a quiet weekend. My son stayed at his friend's last night, so it was really super quiet around here. It's 
weird <laughs> when the kid, when one of them's not here. I'm sure you've all experienced that. I don't know what I'll do when they, like, go to college. They're not around very much. Okay, so I think I am going to have to cut just a little bit off of the bottom of this because I want to see this rose through the window and I don't get to see very much of it this way. So I'm just cutting a little strip off. I know you probably can't see. That's going to go there, but what I thought I'm going to try, and I have no idea if this is going to work, so let me see if I can find my exacto. Uh, this isn't my good one. I don't know where it is. my good one is. Of course. But I'm going to cut, and sorry if I get my head in there, I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Around, and I've done this before. So any of you that have watched my videos for a while will have seen this. I don't want to go all the way through that. That's why I need my good one. <laughs> huh. And I'm going to cut right here. And I'm going to cut along this side of the bow. Okay, you guys see. And it's kind of, that's actually a leaf right there, but it's not going to, so you're going to see the bow and bow kind of thing. And then I'm trying to figure out, let me see where did that, I had an image I wanted to use. I might have to cut it, let's see. Hmm. Trying to figure out the best way to do this. I think I'm going to actually have to cut this part off. And it's, it's not a big deal because you're not going to see this anyway, so. No worries. There we go. So something like this is what I'm trying to get to. So she just tucks right down in there. And you can still see her and and you want to pull her out a little bit more, which is definitely possible because we have this upper part here. And then I had, where did I put them? These little roses to go up at the top. So I think that'll work. So I just need to ink around this picture a little and around the edge of this. I like doing that little, like, hiding spot kind of thing. What do I do with my, I don't know where I put my inker. It's probably sitting right in front of me, right? Oh, there it is. All the way over there, that's why. I usually try to keep the ink and the inker together. Best laid plans. Move some of this stuff out of the way. And I probably will go around uh, the edge of the, the bow a little bit. So as long as wherever you <laughs> make your mistake, like I cut up this side, is hidden behind the image, then you're never going to know that. I mean, you guys know now because you watched me do it, but um, it's not going to be an obvious, you know, mistake or something. And I think I want to even turn down this corner, do a little ink there. It just gives it that, you know, old used. I think I got this from, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember. Oh, what is her name? It's not Graphics Fairy. I don't know. I'll, I'll try to find it and link it in the description below. And I'll link Rosa Kelly, too. I don't think I, I think I forgot to do that last time. But I'm gonna put that there. You know what? You could make this look like a little pocket too. I 
think I might do that. So I need to put this in. And I do want her up a little, hanging up a little. And I need to see in my envelope. Oops, did I do a piece of lace? There we go. I need to see where exactly this is going to... I want to make sure she's showing, otherwise what's the point? Right? Yeah, she's really far over there, huh? So maybe I do need to tuck her down in there more. All things you got to check. Yeah, that probably is going to, and I just realized I'm going to have to cut a little bit more of that off because when I stitch this, um, it's going to make it, the pocket itself, smaller. So I'm going to cut a little bit more of this off before it's too late. And I'm going to cut it off of this other side so that hopefully more of her face will end up showing. Are all things that you got to think about because <laughs> you don't want your pocket to end up being um, so small that you can't get your card in and out because you know that is not helpful. I'll have to ink all that again. <laughs> Duh. Okay. I was going to dip it in the lid again. Okay. I think that will be small enough. And she needs to stay a little bit straighter not in quite as far because otherwise you can't see her and I think I am going to make that a little pocket right there so that's a big glue glob mess I'm going to actually put just a little glue right under this picture so it'll stay there and doesn't uh, go up and down you know inside the pocket And you don't have to do this, you could leave it totally, you know, just glue it all down. But it's kind of fun to have little tuck spots. And I'll stitch around this too, so it'll stay. I wish I could remember where I got that image. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> if anybody knows, just let me know in the comments. I'll try to look for it though. So then I can take like one of these little things and stick it in here too. So that'll be fun. Okay, I'm gonna stitch this stuff, this and this, and I'll be back. Okay, hi everybody, I'm back. So I stitched, I left this opened as you can see, because I stitched all over. So if I would have done this and stitched all over, it wouldn't be a pocket anymore. So I want to cover this in here as well. And then I'm just going to glue down the sides and close the pocket that way because um, I just think that that'll work better. I added a little bit of lace up here. I'm still going to put this here. But I needed to put a little bit of glue behind her because I forgot to do that. And I want her to stay down. I don't want her up. And then I have like this little ticket. This is from uh, one of my digi kits, my first one that I did called Antique Rose. And it's just a little ticket and I thought I could put it in there or somewhere. And I just backed it with some manila folder. So that can just kind of stick in there like that. And then these are images that I got out of those um, Memories of a Lifetime type books. that 
Oops, and I need the glue still because I gotta put the rose up there. So I'm just going along where I put the stitching. I'm gonna move this. Because I know I'm probably gonna end up gluing it down or something great. So those roses will just go up there. And then I'm gonna back this, like I said, with something. I just want that covered because I don't want to see that. This would work. And this is just tea um, stained book page. I don't want to do that. I'll probably end up cutting it anyway, but and it doesn't matter if there's a little bit on the edges because um, you're not going to see that once it's all finished. I left my glue open, see what happens. <laughs> now I got a huge glob of it right there. Nice. Nice mess that is. And it's, like I said, this is not, uh, does not have to be perfect because it's going to be inside of here. But see, I want to see that instead of the other. So now I'm going to glue these down. I thought of that when I was stitching. I'm like, oh, I still need to do that. So I'll just glue it. I think it'll be fine. Kind of like that paper back there, like that. Might just leave it because then I can just glue this down in a book. And this is so, yeah, I'm gonna leave that paper like that. You might think that's weird, but <laughs> I like it. All right, so that's our pocket. I'm gonna grab some little clips. hold it while I slip in the card just so we can see for demonstration type purposes because I'm really hoping this isn't too small now since I didn't stitch it the right way. Oh, no, I think that's going to work once, it, once that is not here. So yeah, it's going to fit. I just don't want to um, mess it up right now with the glue and everything. So let's put these in here at least. We can see them sticking out. And there's the other one. But you could put any ephemera you want to put in there, you know, just use what you got. So just a little little pocket and a little tag. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. Hope you like this idea. Um, give it a try. That's really fun covering up those envelopes like that. If nothing else, it, like even if that doesn't fit, I just really like the, how the envelope came out. So I will talk to you later. Bye bye now.